Hey everybody, uh, how's it going? Been about a week since we saw each other last. Uh, well, that was th Sunday, today's Thursday. I'm shooting this video for, I think, Sunday. I have to check on a little notepad, my handy dandy notebook. But, uh, you know, last Sunday's uh, video was about bulletproof coffee. Uh, most people have heard of that before, I'm sure. I was, I was just kind of reiterating that if you wanted to share with somebody how it was made, here's a quick guide. You know, it don't matter. But, you know, I was thinking today, I was like, what can this week's video be on? I have no idea. I don't have a clue. I didn't prepare anything because I'm lazy the first part of the week. Then on Thursday or Friday, I'm like, oh, God, oh, God, i got to get something together. But nevertheless, I had an idea in the back of my mind. I've had it in back there, you know, for a couple of months now, I think, um, about how to get bacon into a coffee cup. More importantly, um, can you make bulletproof coffee with bacon fat? Now, like uh, most 400-level keto people, um, I save my own bacon fat and I call it pig honey. It's like a weird little candle. And I made this with some pretty good bacon, so it's pretty much pure except for some of the stuff at the bottom. I mean, that is it. And I talked it over with my wife even, and I'm thinking, what do you replace in the Bulletproof Coffee? Do you replace the coconut oil? Do you replace the butter? She said, probably the bacon should replace the butter since they're both animal fat. And I'm thinking, but I like bacon and butter. But anyone that's ever had Bulletproof Coffee knows that that coconut oil is the cure for your blindness. Coconut oil is what gives you the energy, it's what makes your metabolism speed up, and gives it its taste like you're drinking a tannin bed. What I'm going to do is replace the butter with the bacon fat and leave in the teaspoon of uh, coconut oil. I'm not real sure what the uh, difference will be. It's, it's still going to be some weird little, it's still going to be weird animal fat in the coffee, you know. But maybe the, maybe the bacon will give it a little bit of a wang, make it taste like a luau. Maybe I can rename it Bulletproof Luau Coffee or something like that. And if it does taste good, I'm going to take the credit for it. Even though, even though I've seen uh, at least one, one little post on Reddit. I, I Googled it several times today just to see maybe, maybe if it's been done. And I can't find a whole lot on it. Which means it's either I'm the first person that thought of it or it's not very good. I'm going with I'm the first person that thought of it. Even though I did see one post on it. That doesn't count. So uh, let's make some coffee and try this out. And I'll also say it again, I make my French press coffee in my Keurig. If you want a description on how that's done, it's in the thing, uh, box thingy, clickety doo -dah day thing below. It's a French press coffee in a Keurig video. Just click the link. It's down there. So while my coffee makes, I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, coconut oil in my little container here. That's one tablespoon of coconut oil. About the best you can. And one teaspoon, harvest some more pig honey. Quite disgusting looking. <laughs> Tastes good though. Of uh, bacon fat. So there you have it. Bacon fat and coconut oil in the same vessel. I mean, now's the coffee to get made. We can try it. All right, it's time to mash the French press and get this show on the road. When this sucker wants to go down, okay, it's starting to get old, I think. All right, now let's pour a 16 ounces. It's right there. Sixteen on the dot. I don't want to wing this sucker any. Now you can use any blender or milk frother like the uh, bulletproof coffee recipe I've got says. But since I've got this and it's a controlled experiment, this is what I'm going to use. Alright, let's do this. Boo! Let's turn it on first. I'd say she's frothy. Here is bacon from Bulletproof Coffee. For as far as I know, the first time on video, because I couldn't find it with a Google search. It's still hot. Look how frothy that is. Got a head like a beer. Yes. First impression is it does smell like bacon. The the steam smells just like bacon. It's like a coffee house inside of a waffle house or a. Waffle house. All right, let me taste it. It's nothing spectacular. I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna do a backflip. I anticipated the coconut to be a lot more, but the bacon, the bacon kind of takes it over. I gotta tell you, this ain't bad at all. I mean, it does. It's not, it's not like 
the super de duper bacon drink. But there is a slight the bacon bacon flavor isn't is there that you know it's bacon. But it's not like it's bacon. Brr, bacon. Hashtag bacon. But speaking of hashtag, this is keto AF, as the kids say. Like it's not gonna be world it's not gonna be world shattering. But anybody that tries that is gonna like it. Teaspoon of uh, coconut oil and a tablespoon of bacon fat. Well, let me pull back the curtain a little bit. It's about 8 o'clock at night right now. 8 o'clock. It's 6.40 in the afternoon on a Thursday. And I'm just making this to uh, see what it's like. So I'm not going to finish it. I know it's going to be kind of a waste of coffee, but I've got a lot more. But I just want to see how it would taste because I've been curious since I thought of it this morning or rethought of it. But a couple of announcements. I do, like I mentioned last week, I do have a Facebook group coming out. It's going to be called the Keto Playground. It's not open yet for people to come in but if you'll follow me on Twitter and right now my Twitter handle which is going to change as well is at the do what t-h-e-d-o-w-h-a-t this from my old uh, little food blog I had on this same channel but it's at the do what follow me on there when that Facebook group comes alive I'll fire it on out to you and, and follow me on Facebook at Facebook my page is the do what dot com um, I may change it or just abandon it all together once this group comes out. But if you want, if you care about being in that, it's a group centered toward kind of eliminating the keto Nazis. Like if you want to know if a uh, corn dog is keto, you're not going to have some d bag come in there going, "Of course it's not food. It's got corn in it." You're going to get a good answer. You're going to get an answer from adults. You're going to get like only if you take the car, you're going to get like smart ass remarks, maybe, but not mean. That's the key. Tired of folks being mean about it. It's just folks trying to lose weight. It's not like you're trying to steal steal your money from you or something. With that being said, follow me on Twitter at the DoWatt, Facebook, thedowat.com. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and recommend you try the bacon fat uh, bulletproof, bacon bulletproof coffee because it is delicious. More delicious than I anticipated. I didn't even think you could taste the bacon. And, uh, Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please subscribe. I need, I'm trying to get a thousand su subscribers now as another goal. So if you can subscribe and tell your buddies, tell your buddies. Thanks for watching. Peace out.